Welcome back to the Trauma Team Walkthrough Series. In our previous video, we stabilized some patients in first response. Now, in our final entry, let's look at the signs and symptoms of diagnosis. In diagnosis, you will be gathering information based on your patient's commentaries and actions, leading to an accurate conclusion on what ailments they are suffering from. You will be playing as the clever yet sarcastic Dr. Gabriel Cunningham. His keen intellect and insight have made him one of the finest medical minds in Resurgum First Care. The exam room is where you'll be speaking with patients about their physical condition. Listen carefully through the dialogue sequences, where you will be asked whether what your patient is saying is considered a symptom or not. There are times where your patient won't say exactly what's wrong with them, so you'll need to read between the lines to uncover what they're trying to avoid telling you. You won't find a time limit or vitals bar in diagnosis. Instead, hearts at the top of your screen will tell you how many mistakes you'll be allowed to make before your case will be considered a failure. Finding certain symptoms may involve you taking a closer look at the patient. Using the stethoscope, look for body abnormalities such as shortness of breath or irregular heart rates. For further investigation, conduct a visual exam to find any physical irregularities on the patient. With the diagnostic results, check to see if the patient's measured levels are out of the norm. Your patient's CT scans, x-rays, and MRIs can be viewed in the image analysis lab. Compare your patient's image with that of a healthy person and be on the lookout for any abnormalities as each identified symptom is one step closer to reaching a conclusion. With the help of your trusty computer sidekick, Roni, you will analyze the collected data and make a diagnosis in your office. Roni provides a list of diagnosis candidates that may or may not fit your patient's symptoms. If you find a matching symptom in the disease's description, the corresponding details will become highlighted and the gauge below the candidate's name will partially fill. Once you have a candidate with a completely filled gauge, you can make your final diagnosis. This concludes our look at Diagnosis, the final entry in our Trauma Team video walkthrough series. Now that you've caught a glimpse of each specialty, do you think you have what it takes to make the cut? Make sure and pick up your copy of Trauma Team when it hits stores on May 18, 2010, exclusively for Wii.